Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings, all about those authors that I've found most inspiring. And I'm surprised myself actually that I've never got round to Fred Forsyth before. When I was a kid, Frederick Forsyth was a journalist working, I think, with the Times, and he pretty much ended up as a war correspondent. I think the one that really got him famous was the Day of the Jackal. This I remember everybody at school reading when I was in the uh, fifth and sixth forms, I think. It actually first came out in 71, and there is, a, as an author, a list of reprints that really makes me jealous, going 71, 2, 3, 5 times, 74, 3 times, 75, 3 times, twice in 76, 77, 78, twice, 4 times in 79, then 80, 80, 81, 83, 84. That means he made a lot of money. He also made a lot of money out of the film, I expect, The Day of the Jackal, that was superbly um, told because it basically took it, it did a Harry Potter early on it took the actual story and put this story onto film fantastic film if you haven't seen it but the book is because you get into the mindset of the people the book is still better that book was all about an attempted assassination on President de Gaulle because people now forget it, but in the 60s, 70s, the loss of empire to the French was absolutely devastating, especially when it was felt that de Gaulle um, betrayed the colonists in Algeria. Really good book. Can't recommend that one highly enough. He wrote a novel called The Odessa File, which was a fantastic crime thriller, really, but it involved a man who was trying to find out more about the Nazis at the back end of the Second World War. And it went into fascinating detail about what had happened to old Nazis, um, how quite a few of them were allowed to escape by going down to Odessa and then being shipped out from there to South America. But the great thing about the book was the fabulous twist at the end of it, which I'm not going to give you, obviously, but if you haven't read The Odessa File, it is a superb novel with excellent writing, superb plot, and it's told by a master storyteller. Enough. And then, of course, he produced another book. This one. The Dogs of War, which was first published in 74, and again has a hideous list of reprints, uh, which makes an, any author jealous. This, it is alleged, was so realistic because it was based on true events. And I don't think Frederick Forsyth has actually come out and outright denied the fact. Um, Fred Forsyth was a correspondent reporting on the tragic consequences for the local population of the war. I think it was Biafra. And he decided that it would be a good idea to rescue the people. And so he set up a military campaign. This is all allegations only, I, but this is the story that's been told. So he set up an attempt to buy up a bunch of weapons, hire a group of mercenaries. He knew people such as Cat Shannon from the um, Congo mercenary era. So he knew the mercenaries and the allegation was that he was going to try to force a coup to save these poor people from their starvation because they were suffering very badly. But the point of this book is not that it's a book about war. It is a thriller set around how you would possibly create a mercenary campaign. So it's about how you would get the uniforms, how you would get the guns, who you'd find to get the guns, 
Um, it's how you would ship the weapons from one country to another, how you would get the end user agreement so you could have permission to get the guns in the first place. Every aspect is gone into in fabulous detail. Now, of course, a lot of it could be completely untrue, but let's not forget that in this, The Day of the Jackal, he explains how you can get a false passport quite easily. And the loophole that allowed you to do that, this book was first published in 71, the loophole I think still existed in the 90s, might even have been early this century. So Forsyth was a master at doing his research. Whether he was himself involved in a mercenary campaign or not, or the potential of a mercenary campaign, I've no idea, and I don't honestly care, except that it would show him to be possibly a rather better person than a lot of war correspondents. But the great thing about this is the actual fighting and warfare takes up only about 15 or 20 pages at the back end of the book. It is a stunningly effective story and a fantastic read. Now, he has written a lot of books, Frederick Forsyth. I don't have all of them by any stretch. The Devil's Alternative, I remember, as being rather sad. The Negotiator is a good one. I really enjoyed this. It's a strange book in a way because it's sort of a book of two halves, but that one I remember being superb. This, the fourth protocol, I actually found to be on a level with Dogs of War, Odessa File and Day of the Jackal. It's a fabulous concept, which is that in the latter days of the last um, Soviet governments, there was an attempt to make a bomb on British soil to detonate it, a nuclear bomb, to make it look as if it was an accident in Britain. So a terrorist was <laughs> a Russian operative. I mean, we after the Skripal affair this year, it's not too difficult to imagine this sort of thing could happen. So a Russian operative was sent to the UK with the makings of a nuclear bomb and he was supposed to detonate it. And this book is about how it could be done, how big the weapon would be, what sort of damage would be done, what the consequences would be, and also, of course, how would the British security services try to prevent it. And again, the tension here is about the planning and the activities around implementing the plan. A fantastic book. I have read many, many of Frederick Forsyth's books. The Cobra was quite good, not on the same level, I don't think. So I would certainly recommend that anybody who hasn't read his books should read The Day of the Jackal and certainly The Dogs of War and certainly The Fourth Protocol. I would personally recommend reading The Odessa File too. It's a shorter book, but it's one of those books that has stayed with me all the way through my adult life. I must have read that when I was 13 or 14, but I've read it in my 20s, I read it in my 30s, and I actually read it again only very recently. It is a stunningly good book. Superb characterization, really good inventive plot, um, and it's also talking about a genuine bit of history. In the same way as The Day of the Jackal is based on real events with the Algerian colonists and the Dogs of War is definitely based on real events from his experience. So there you go. One inspiring author, I think, because his books are based on meticulous detail, meticulous research. Clearly they are edited exceptionally well, self-edited, before they go to a publisher, I think. Um, and I think that's because of his training as a journalist. So, Frederick Forsyth. Here you go. My recommendation for the week. If you haven't bought them already and read them, you should read at least these three and ideally the Odessa file as well. Hope that was interesting. If it was, please 
hit the like thing and do the subscribe, hit the bell and all those good things. And more to the point, if there's any authors you think should be on my list, please add a comment down the bottom as well, because it's always good to know who it is that you think is an inspiring author, as well as the ones that I'm going through. And who's next? Well, I've got several people here I want to talk about. Wilbur Smith, um, Patrick O'Brien, which is someone recommended to me. I'm very tempted to move on to Frank Herbert. People wouldn't expect me to go for sci-fi necessarily, but I really enjoy Dune. And then we're into the likes of people like Michael Connolly and Isaac Asimov and the other great names that are all round me here. I should just say that um, all of these bookshelves are double stacked. And this is just here and all along here. These are the books I read for pleasure. All of my research materials in my office over there. So it's a bit scary and that's why my house insurance is ludicrously high. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you soon and take care and happy reading. Cheers.